Well, good afternoon and welcome to another virtual tour with Goldacre Estates. I have to tell you, I absolutely love my job and here's one of the reasons why. Today we're actually in a property on Avenida's Grandes Playas here in Coralaco in Fuerteventura and look at the views behind me. That is Lobos Island. We are literally one street away from the beach here in a very elevated and stunning location. Now all the details of this unique opportunity are on goldacreestates.com. They are on other web portals too, but it's only at goldacreestates.com where you will see if the properties are still available on the market. So if you want to keep up with the latest trends and the availability, you need to be visiting that site. Download our mobile property app to your mobile phone. I will put up a QR code where you can take a snapshot of that and using your camera, you can actually get that onto your uh, screen uh, on your mobile phone and use that when you're here on the island. And of course, if you're watching this on YouTube, scroll down the description, click the link, and it should take you directly to this property listing. Well, just before we leave the rooftop terrace, I really just wanted to show you where we are. Look at this absolutely gorgeous space here where you can sit up and enjoy a glass of wine or a barbecue. There is a pergola, of course. At the back here on the south side, you've actually got views over to Campanario Shopping Center and the clock tower just there on the left-hand side. And of course, some of the other larger villas in this area too. That's actually the Barcelo Hotel there. And look where we are. There's the Bay of Coraleco. Everybody's out today on their wing foils. You see some yachts out there. Of course, that is Lobos Island. And then coming down to Sunset Beach there, Sunset Lounge, for example. Really just a lovely, lovely location indeed. Now, this is a very interesting property. It's on multiple levels. So let me go back downstairs and start from the roadside. So firstly, here we are on the beach walk. Really, really gorgeous access to the beach here. You couldn't find a more convenient spot, really, if you wanted to walk down to Waikiki or Toro Beach for lunch. And of course, back that way there to Sunset Lounge. And the access then to the property is literally just here. You've actually got showers, bicycle parks, all the way uh, along here. And then literally about 10 to 20 meters you're onto Avenida's Grandes Playas. It's a beautiful palm lined Avenida this and the property itself. And there it is, look, there is that rooftop dining terrace right there. And here we now are at the property itself. As you can see, it's front entrance terrace area here. On the ground floor, you do have a living room, kitchen and a bedroom and then upstairs another master bedroom ensuite, and of course going up to that beautiful rooftop terrace and there is a pool on the south side. But first, I really wanna show you downstairs because there is actually a garage and there's a huge space in the semi-basement area here next to the garage that you can use as well. So just coming in, you do have a running gate here that leads down to this area. Of course, there is a lot of parking along the street itself but you could park here in the driveway you'll notice on the left then a proper garage unlikely you're going to use this on a day-to-day -day basis but certainly if you want to leave your car parked in here while you're away then you can to be honest i think this is going to be more of a storeroom water sports equipment for example can you imagine all of the kite sailors windsurfers canoeists here would dream uh, of having such a space. There is a door here, and that's gonna be significant in a moment, because that actually leads through, if you want it to, to this huge underfloor space here. Now, this is a basement or semi-basement level, so really it is just square meterages on your registration, but you can see that it has been and is being used as accommodation by the current owners. Just here then, behind that bookshelf, is that door. So if you wanted to make that a connecting door to the garage, you could. But look at the huge space that you've got. Firstly, there's a kitchenette here, quite conveniently by the door, so good ventilation. High ceilings downstairs, I have to say. 
Across the hallway here is a bedroom. Now there are no windows here as such, but you'll notice there is ventilation and that vent there and in the garage on the other side and to the bathroom actually goes up around the pool area, which I'll show you in a little while. There is then a kiddies bedroom on the side here. This is really quite a cute room. Again, it's actually quite high, this sloping roof. Plenty of space for me, no problem at all. It would be an overflow bedroom, I suppose, if you wanted to use it for that. There is natural light and ventilation here as well. And I have to say, although it's not immediately obvious, throughout this basement area, it is actually well ventilated. The bathroom, for example, there you have a washing machine, walk-in shower, and you'll notice behind it, those two windows, so plenty of ventilation from that point of view as well. Okay, so here we are now, again on ground level to the main entrance. Really, it's quite a tall structure of this, quite a lot of square meterages on this building here. As you're coming up the main entrance, very, very wide entrance area here, beautiful tile work on these stairs, and you do get a nice elevated feeling away from the main road. And then coming in to the property itself, you walk straight in to this main lounge area here. As you can see, the first room really is gonna be this terrace area, which you can see from outside has been glassed in. I haven't opened all the blinds today, but as you can see, there are elevated views here across Avenida Grandes Playas. It's quite a spacious area, this, and it would make an absolutely ideal lounge. Really just hesitating there because I think maybe a dining room would be a lovely feature there. Just coming through here on this floor is a bedroom as well it's a double bedroom here look left and right it's quite spacious you do have built-in wardrobes and just in case you weren't sure there's a quick glimpse of the pool conveniently then on this floor as well is a shower room again it's beautifully tiled beautiful blue and white diamond pattern here of course there is a window for ventilation there as well and then when you're coming back through the main lounge area, look, you can actually now get a feel for the space that you've got here. It's quite an open space. Internal stairs, well, I'll show you where that goes in just a moment. Under those stairs is a little cubby hole, very, very useful. And then you have this kitchen on the side here. Again, plenty of space with this granite bar. And you've got space there for fridge freeze on the right. Full oven, hob extractor here. Of course, a lovely granite finish. Plenty of storage places here for the kitchen equipment. And then on the south side of the property, look, a beautifully sunny, hot courtyard terrace. Again, it's partially covered here, just providing a little bit of shade, thankfully. But as you come out here, look, it's a really, really useful space, this. You've got all day and all year sunshine. You start to get a feel for the property itself. And then just across here, look, is the plunge pool. Again, just to rinse off really after coming back from the beach. Coming up the internal stairs then, quite traditional iron work here, very Spanish feeling. You'll notice on the landing, there is a door that leads out. I think you can imagine where that's going to go and then up into the master bedroom. Now this is quite a spacious room. There are two windows there, look, on that side, on the west side, and you've got that lovely veranda that I'm gonna show you in just a moment. Built-in wardrobes, and you do have an ensuite. Now this is a beautiful bathroom. It's a full bath, again, that lovely check pattern, blue and white, quite traditional. Very dark black floor here. Full bath, ventilation window, and shower. This room then, you can imagine waking up in the morning to this view out on your own veranda. Again, elevated views across Avenida Grandes Playas. And yes, on this eastern side here, you've actually got a view off to the Atlantic Ocean. 
just coming out now to these external stairs look that lead up to the roof terrace but before we go there just a quick word on this side south side pool really really beautiful there nice and sunny all year this is a cul-de-sac road that leads to the rear of the Barcelo Hotel. So you've only got really large villas here, very, very private indeed, but quite a handy little rear gate here, pedestrian gate that leads you out that way. If you wanted to walk over to Campanario Shopping Center, for example, which is just there, that's a beautiful Sunday market they have. And of course, large supermarket and really lovely restaurants and coffee shops. Cafe Amarena, for example, is just one. And then we're back up onto that roof terrace where we started the video. Now this is quite a large space here. You do have in this section a great big water tank and that's just as an extra cistern if you like. And then you've got this beautiful pergola and dining area. Again, this is in a natural volcanic stone finish here with seating surrounding here. Of course, you'd put some cushions up here. Why wouldn't you? And what a place to come and just enjoy a glass of wine or maybe a morning coffee after your swim at the beach. Well there you go, I hope that was a helpful virtual tour of this fantastic opportunity here on Avenida's Grandes Playas. Again, as a residential area, gorgeous, very, very quiet and literally morning swims on your doorstep here. But also as a property investment, we are after all on one of the most sought after streets in Fuerteventura, in Canary Islands, in Spain even. And to have access then to the facilities here, not only the Atlantic coast, the beach, Lobos Island, the protected park, the sand dunes are in walking distance here. But of course, Coral Echo town itself, all those beautiful little restaurants and coffee shops throughout the village. Now, from a rental investment point of view, really you can't get better in terms of a position, a location, location, location. Uh, there's two main bedrooms here on this level and of course that's an additional overflow uh, downstairs by the garage if you want to use that for yourselves but the investment opportunity is huge. All the details of course in goldacreestate.com on the mobile property app if you haven't already got that on your mobile phone have a go now and of course on YouTube scroll down click the link on the, the description and it should take you directly to this web listing. We look forward to seeing you soon.